Start recording. Hey, what's up? Okay, so I just uh, did a quick test record, and uh, hopefully everything's gonna fucking work out here, or else I'm gonna be pissed that I have to redo this, because I'm gonna fucking do this. Okay, you guys thought I was done, right? You guys thought I was done? I just made a video? Oh, I'm, uh, motherfucker, I'm just getting started. There's a lot to be said, and there's a lot of information that is barely coming out. This shit just happened yesterday. Like, this news came out yesterday. The video came out, I think, today. You know what I mean? Like, this shit just fucking happened. So, from the, the official website, the ACLU, disturbing police... Here we go. Disturbing police dash cam video from Minnesota shows an officer beating a motorist. In a harpy, Anthony's sunny summer day in Worthington, Minnesota turned from ordinary to a nightmare. Shortly after encountering an agitated motorist driving in front of him on July 28th, 2016. So, this is already a fucking year ago, right? This Okay, let's stop here. This is already a fucking year ago that this shit happened. And we're just now barely hearing about it. Well, a fucking year later? Like, a literal year later, now we hear about it? Yeah, I was like, this happened... Well, yeah, okay, so this article and this new... What, did the footage just come out? I don't understand. The incident happened a fucking year ago. Okay. This this man right here, this young, this young man was assaulted. Assaulted. A year ago. By Agent Joe Karate fucking hottie over here. Anyway, let's, let's finish. Anthony found himself confronted by the police. Within seconds of exiting his vehicle, as the video shows... Within seconds of exiting his vehicle after pulling Anthony over, Agent Joe Karate Hadi of the Buffalo Ridge Drug Task Force opened the door of Anthony's car, screaming, get the fuck out of the car, motherfucker. I mean, yeah, you guys heard it. I don't know why the fuck they even put that in there. Well, to show you how fucking crazy it was, right? Without hesitation, which is true, Agent Karate Hadi started pulling, punching, and elbowing Anthony several times in the back while Anthony was still restrained by his seatbelt. He was still in his seatbelt. Agent Joe over here then yanked Anthony out of the car, threw him to the ground, and pressed his knee to the back of Anthony's neck to pin Anthony face down on the pavement while he and who? Sergeant Tim Gull. Oh, I don't know who the fuck that is, but I've heard his name. I mean, I fucking live here. It makes sense that I would have heard the name of the sergeant in town at some point in my life. I've heard his fucking name. I've seen his fucking face. So Sergeant Tim Gull here is also complicit. He also has some answering as to what the fuck went on here. Why the hell this is okay? And why the fuck has Agent Joe not been reprimanded at all? Agent Joe Karate fucking hottie over here. It turns out the agitated motorist, Anthony, encountered... Okay, it turns out that the agitated motorist, Anthony, encountered before being assaulted by Agent Joe was an off-duty police officer. Oh, okay. Who called Joe to go after Anthony for tailgating him. Wow. The officer reports... The officer reports regarding the incident make okay. The officer reports regarding the incident make no mention of any suspicion that Anthony was committing a drug offense. Okay, so he himself, the officer Joe Karate fucking Hottie himself, Mister wants to punch and elbow people in the fucking street like it's a goddamn MMA fight. This dude over here himself admitted in his official reports that he did not think this guy was a drug offender. He. He's with the Buffalo Ridge Drug Task Force, right? He's out here trying to find fucking meth addicts and shit and good. You're, you're doing good, bro. All right, you're stopping the bad guys, okay? But you just admitted that this had nothing to do with that. You did. It's not like you ran up and you thought he was some sort of big fish with meth and was like had a gun on him and shit. You admitted yourself that this had nothing to do with drugs. What happened? Did your buddy call you? And he's like, hey, man, this fucking dude's tailgating me. Go fucking kick his ass. And you were like, yeah, bro. Is that how this fucking works? Because that's exactly how it's coming off. Sir, sir fucking karate hottie. Caption, Agent Joe manhandles and pummels Anthony as he arrests him. Warning, this video is violent and contains profanity. Yes, it is violent. And yes, it does contain profanity. And you know what? I'm going to show it to my fucking son who is 11 years old. And he needs to know that this kind of shit is going on in our fucking, in our fucking town. And this, shit, this kind of shit is happening to our neighbors, to our peers. It could happen to our family. It could happen to us. The police have charged Anthony. This guy. The, the, the guy who gets beat up. Anthony. You know, the guy they, they drag out of the car. This guy. This guy right here on the floor. This guy right here on the fucking floor. Anthony here has been charged with multiple felonies. Various offenses. The most serious being fleeing in a motor vehicle and two counts of assault with a deadly weapon. His car. But let's make this very clear. No matter what Anthony, when, no matter what happened before the dash cam video began rolling, Anthony did not deserve to be abused by the police in this way. 
Agent Joe claims Anthony refused his order to leave his car, but the video contradicts this assertion. Instead, it shows a textbook's case, a textbook's fucking case of excessive force, literally. Like if someone was like, what's excessive force? You would show them this video. This is excessive force. So, I don't know. This type of brutality by officers is not only unconstitutional, it's terrifying for the individual being assaulted and for the community as a whole. Yeah, I'm fucking scared, dog. I don't want to go outside. I don't want to fucking drive to work right now. I don't know what's going to happen. Am I going to get pulled over? Am I going to get ripped out of my fucking car seat? Am I going to get shot while my kids are in the fucking back? Huh? I don't fucking know. This is fucking police state right here. This shit is going too fucking far, and it has been. Don't get me wrong. I understand that this has been going on for a very long time. But the difference is that right here, right now, at this moment, I have solid fucking evidence. This happened downtown from where I live. People should not fear that they could be attacked by the police for no reason or while being detained for investigative purposes. Fear of police violence causes a decrease in people reporting crimes and erodes trust between communities and the police. Duh. Seems pretty fucking obvious, right? If the police are here to protect us and they're out here fucking with us, beating us up, killing us, shooting us, then of course there's a little bit of a, of a trust issue there, you know? Um, excuse me that I don't fucking trust you, officer. When you pull my ass over because I rolled through a stop sign... I don't know what the fuck you're gonna do. It's late at night. This happened recently. I was fucking te- I was fucking petrified. I don't know what the fuck this dude was gonna do. Communities of color already have a tenuous relationship with police, and unacceptable behavior like this makes it harder for it ever to change. Yeah. The Winton Police Department, which employs Sergeant Gull and appointed Agent Joe Karate fucking Hottie of the Buffalo Ridge Drug Task Force, needs to immediately investigate the incident, take all appropriate personnel action, and ensure this never happens again. The ACLU has called for an investigation into Agent Joe's behavior. Agent Joe should be held accountable for his actions, up to and including termination and prosecution. Hell the fuck yeah. Dude, I'm not saying go for his job. Yo. I'm saying go for his fucking freedom. What the fuck did this dude do? He beat this dude for no fucking reason. No drugs. No no, uh, traffic offense. He didn't actually do anything, right? You just pulled him over, ran up with your gun, and opened the door open and just started swinging, right? Dude was still fucking in his... He's still got his seatbelt on. You're just punching him, beating his ass, right? Is it is it because you saw the... the is it because you saw the Castro case? Is it because you saw how, how they were able to shoot a black man in broad daylight? And you thought, oh, I'll just beat an Asian man. In broad daylight. Is that what you were doing? Is that what you're just trying to like be like your bros and shit? Based on additional complaints that we are receiving, this does not appear to be an isolated incident. Rather, there's evidence that racial profiling and police brutality are systematic problems that span the Worthington Police Department, Nobles County Sheriff's Office, and the Buffalo Ridge Drug Task Force, as Worthington becomes a much more diverse city. Bitch, we have been diverse. We have been diverse. That's why in my first video I said this isn't supposed to happen here. Because literally everywhere you fucking go is a person of color in this town. I have never been anywhere else where there are more people of color per fucking block. Like, it's everywhere. We're just here. This is just a very diverse place to be. We have a lot of people of color here, right? Like I literally mentioned in the other video, downtown is all people of color businesses. It's like top Asian market, fucking uh, the taco restaurants, fucking all these businesses, mom and pop shops were started because of people of color. So when you drive around here, you don't think that this kind of shit is going on. But that's the point. Is it systematic? It is profiling. And if everybody is in on it together, then of course we don't fucking know about it. So it's easy to turn a blind eye and not talk about it, but I'm fucking sick of that shit. I've been doing that shit. And you know what it's done? It's done nothing for me, and it's done nothing for nobody fucking else. This is no longer about me. It's about my kids. It's about my fucking kids and what I want them to know. 
and who I want them to be. And that's a person that fucking stands up when some shit is fucked up. And this shit right here, this shit right here is fucked up. Based on additional complaints that we are receiving, this does not appear to be an isolated event. Incident, whatever. Of course it's not. Good. I'm glad people are coming out. Good for fucking ACLU. These dudes, I literally just found out about them. Like, the ACLU, like I had heard about them, but I didn't know what the fuck they did. And literally just a couple weeks ago, I was like, or not even, it was a couple of days ago. I looked it up. I'm like, oh, that's who they are. That's what they do. Good. Good for them. And now here we go. Breaking fucking news. Breaking the story of some shit in my hometown. It's not even my hometown. Hometown makes it sound like I have left. This is my, this is my town. This is where I live. This is where I have lived my entire fucking life. The ACLU is talking with Anthony and his criminal counsel. And we are considering all legal options. No person in Worthington, Minnesota should have to fear that the people who swear an oath to protect and serve the community are acting like criminals themselves. The video we have of Agent Joe and Sergeant Gull seems to reveal at least two police officers who believe that they are above the law, not bound by it. So this is the article. This is me fucking going off, on, going off about it. I actually wanted to do this video where I was just going to read the article and it would just be like a red thing in case you have troubles reading, but it turned into this and I don't fucking care. I got to get ready for work. I got to go to work and hope I don't get shot or beat on the way there by a cop, right? Uh, fingers fucking crossed. Fuck. So where do we go from here? I don't know. I don't know where we go from here. There's a lot to be done though. This is just started. This happened a fucking year ago. Is he okay? Like, why why am I not seeing anything about about Anthony? Is he okay? Like, they beat his fucking ass. They get stitches, j fucking jaw wired shut. What happened? Is he still in jail from a year ago when this shit happened? Because they said they took his ass to jail, and they said they're fucking trying to charge him with a bunch of fucking felonies. So, he's just been in jail this whole time? Did he get out on bond? How much was that? Or is his family okay? Are they struggling financially? Do we need to send up some sort of fucking donation basket? Some shit? Like, what the fuck?